Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode in my WW Barbecue Grilling Out This Summer series. Tonight's recipe is going to be whiskey pineapple barbecue chicken. Yum. We're also going to roast up some corn on the cob on our barbecue. I'm going to give you a fun recipe for that. It is going to be such a fantastic dinner. I cannot wait. So if you want to see what I have in store for you for this episode in my WW barbecue series, all you have to do is keep watching. For tonight's barbecue series recipe, we are going to be making whiskey pineapple chicken. It is like six o'clock in the morning and I am just gonna get my marinade going. Make sure you plan ahead, allow your chicken to marinate either all day or overnight. So let me show you what's in the marinade and what we need for the whiskey pineapple chicken. So first, of course, you're going to need some boneless, skinless chicken breast. You're also going to need some black pepper, whiskey or bourbon, whatever you prefer, Worcestershire sauce, minced garlic, barbecue sauce. I'm gonna be using the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue and you'll need pineapple juice. So I have a can of pineapple tidbits here. So let me put together the marinade. I'll show you what's in that and we'll get our chicken marinating. For our whiskey marinade, I've got my two breasts of chicken here and everything ready to add. So the first thing I'm gonna add is two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And this is so easy. We're literally throwing everything in the bag with our chicken. A tip is if you kind of roll your bag down and pop it open, you can just dump everything directly in there. I also have four cloves of minced garlic three quarters of a cup of whiskey. And again, you can use bourbon if you'd rather use bourbon. I didn't have either of them on hand, so I just went with whiskey. And then I have half of a cup of my G Hughes barbecue sauce. And I have three quarters of a cup of the pineapple juice that I just simply drained from the pineapple tidbits. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some pepper. And that's it, you guys, easy. And we're just gonna throw this into the refrigerator. I'm going to let this marinate all day long, like literally until my husband comes home from work and we're ready to put together our whiskey chicken on the Barbie. But look at that, look at all that deliciousness. And I'm just gonna toss this in the fridge. So here's everything we're gonna have for our barbecue dinner. So I just pulled my marinated chicken breasts out of the refrigerator. You can see that there is a ton of marinade left. So I'm gonna just count one smart point for the marinade, just for what actually soaked into the chicken. Then we are going to barbecue up some corn on the cob. And on my corn, I'm gonna use this Pam nonstick olive oil cooking spray. It is very similar to olive oil, but it is zero smart points. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I'm going to put this, which is so delicious on any vegetable. This is the Dax Citrus Grove. All of Dax seasonings have no salt, which is awesome, especially before weigh-in, or if you're trying to watch your salt intake, your water retention. Their spices are all natural. They have no MSG. I mean, literally everything in them is an all natural ingredient. So super nice. I love these. Let me show you what's in this one. Spices, lemon, peel, lime peel, granules, and orange peel. So really it's just some citrus and it is so good on vegetables. So I'm gonna use Dax Citrus Grove on my corn. And then we're also going to have some of these mini potatoes. I'm just gonna chop them in half and we'll cook them in a foil pack on the grill. And again, I'm gonna use some of my cooking spray, salt and pepper. And this time on the potatoes, I decided to go ahead and use Dax Steakhouse. So this is similar to the McCormick steak seasoning, just with no salt. And it's absolutely delicious. So all that's in this one is spices, mustard, dehydrated garlic and onion, that's it. So if you're interested in Dax, you can click the link down in the description box. Use my discount code here on the screen and you'll get 10% off and free shipping. They have tons of spices, all of them are awesome. So we're gonna be using those two in tonight's dinner. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is get the corn ready for the barbecue. So I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some of my nonstick olive oil spray. Just give it a nice coating just so that the se seasoning and spices and everything will stick to your corn. I think you can have 10 sprays for, or five sprays for 10 calories. So it's gonna be zero points for the cooking spray. And then to that, we're gonna go ahead and add our Dax Citrus Grove. And how I usually season my corn is I'll season one side and then I'll turn it. And I'll season the other side and I'll just keep doing that until I've seasoned all the sides of my corn. That way you get a little bit of seasoning on everything. Yes, it's a little messy, but it's worth it for the flavor. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of salt because you wanna enhance the sweetness of the corn with salt. Turn these and then kind of do the other side. And then lastly, we're gonna add just a little bit of pepper as well. And then our corn is ready to go. We're gonna put it directly on the grill. We're not gonna cook it on any foil or anything. It's gonna go directly onto our barbecue. So now let's get our potatoes ready to go. Next up are our potatoes. So you can see here that I've cut them in half and placed them on a sheet of foil. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my Pam cooking spray to my potatoes. And again, just enough to get the spices to stick to these. Plus it'll help cook them and make them a little bit tastier with that little bit of olive oil spray. And then I'm gonna add my Dax Steakhouse seasoning. This is one of my favorite seasonings. I actually love them all. This one is so good. They're all really good. And then black pepper as well, just a little bit. The Steakhouse has a lot of flavor, so you don't really need to add a whole lot more to it. And then we're gonna add, of course, some salt just a tiny bit to our potatoes. And then what I do is I take a second sheet of foil, lay it over the top, and I'm gonna roll this up to make a foil pack around my potatoes. And you want a nice solid roll on your edges so that when you go to flip it on the barbecue, it doesn't come apart and then you have a little mishap with potatoes on your barbecue. So make sure that you get a nice, good edge on your foil pack. I always make my top piece of foil just a little bit larger than the piece that my potatoes or veggies or whatever you're cooking are on. But you also wanna keep your potatoes in a single layer so that they'll cook a little bit faster and a little more evenly. So there you have it. There's our foil pack of potatoes. Last is our chicken. Lastly, we are gonna get our chicken out of the marinade. The marinade smells amazing. I'm hoping that a lot of those flavors really absorbed in the chicken. It's been in the fridge for about 12 hours. So that is awesome. That's a good amount of time for marinade. So go ahead and pull out your chicken breasts and then those will go directly on the barbecue as is. And look, this is the, I mean, all of the marinade is left. So that's why I'm only counting it as one smart point for what's actually soaked in to the chicken. So let's get everything on the barbecue. So as we were pulling out our barbecue tools, we discovered that we have a corn on the cob cooker for the barbecue. This thing is super cool. So we're gonna be using this to barbecue our corn. Very excited for this find that was tucked away in our cupboard. Lola, are you excited for the barbecue? Lola, hey. She's ignoring me. So everything is officially on the grill. We did put our potatoes on about 15 minutes before everything else. We know they're gonna take a little longer to cook. Really excited about my kitchen find of my corn on the cob holder, and then a couple breasts of our whiskey pineapple chicken. So we're gonna let this cook, and I'll be back to show you guys our completed barbecue dinner. Everyone's outside while we barbecue. Hi guys, hi. The babies always come outside whenever there's food. So here's our completed barbecue dinner. These potatoes look so good in the foil pack. Our corn on the cob looks amazing. This is definitely a must have to roast your corn on the cob on the barbecue. I was thinking you could even take this camping and cook it over a fire. And then our whiskey, 
pineapple chicken looks amazing. So let me go ahead and plate up my dinner and I'll show you what I'm having and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. So I took the small piece of chicken and then just a little bit more off of the large piece. So my whiskey pineapple chicken, I am counting as one smart point for the marinade. My corn on the cob looks delicious. That is zero points. And then I measured out on my food scale, four ounces of the roasted potatoes. And that is four smart points. So this is going to be my five smart point barbecue dinner. Thank you for joining me in another episode of my WW barbecue series. This dinner was outstanding. That chicken was so incredibly good. And the corn on the cob, ah, oh, yum. What a low point dinner. I mean, extremely low point dinner. So you can pair this with things such as potatoes or rice or whatever you kind of want to pair it with, but what a wonderful dinner for an amazing smart point value. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. That way you won't miss a single barbecue video or any other video for that matter. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know, are you going to try this barbecue series recipe? Because I think you should, and I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye guys.